What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and comparing all the big players in the OtterBox lineup for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's check it out. Yeah, so the intro says it all. This is one of my favorite reviews to do. I've done it for the iPhone 13 Pro and now we're doing it for the 14 Pro. This pile of cases represents my personal take on the main players for the OtterBox cases. You have the Commuter, the Defender, the Symmetry, and the Defender Pro. These cases are prolific. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Target, Walmart, AT&T, Verizon, online, Amazon, all over the place. I'll put some links in the video description below, but these are pretty easy to find. So we're going to go through them all today really quickly and compare them and kind of try and get a good understanding as to which cases might be the best for you. So the first case we're going to start off with in the unboxing and comparison is the Symmetry. It's one of my go-to cases. I like it because it's thin, it's light, it's not very grippy so it slips in and out of your pocket very well. It works with MagSafe and wireless charging and it's relatively inexpensive. I think I got this for about 45 bucks from Verizon the day I actually got my iPhone 14 Pro. You've probably seen my unboxing already on this so I'll link that above. What's awesome about this case is it's thin, it's light, it's very easy to install, and it protects the phone very well. One of the things I like about this particular model is they have done a, did a little something different with the buttons. The buttons are a little bit like a harder plastic, almost like, so you have the soft plastic on the side, and then it's like they use the hard plastic on the back also for the buttons. So they have a really good tactile feel, even though they're almost flush with the side of the case, it's very easy to feel where they are when you're not looking and the case has an overall good high quality feel. So if you're looking for a case from OtterBox that's gonna protect your phone, isn't going to weigh it down a ton, and gives it that sleek look, no badging on the back, just a little bit on the side, this is not a bad option. This case comes in about 42 grams. The thickness at the case itself is about 11.3 millimeters. At the camera bump is about 14, and the width is about 83.7. So that's the symmetry. 3x military tested, light, nimble, doesn't add a lot of bulk to your case, wireless charging works, good protection around the optics, overall great case, pretty affordable price. Next in the lineup, one of my favorites, the commuter. This one takes the protection up a notch, it has the 3x protection, basically made of the same materials as the symmetry, just a little bit more ruggedized. This is one of the big differences with this case. Flexible inside lining surrounded by a hard outer lining. The purpose of this setup is to absorb as much shock when you drop your phone as possible. You have the rigid outside that can protect your corners and the top surfaces as well as the back and the rubber inside that's going to act like a shock absorber. If you're looking for something that's thin and nimble like the Symmetry but it offers a little bit more protection, this is definitely a good case. It's not as big and bulky as some of the other cases like the Defender series of cases from OtterBox and it offers great protection. The commuter comes in at about 58 grams, is about 84 and a quarter millimeters wide. The thickness at the case itself is about 13 and a half millimeters roughly. At the camera bump you're looking at about just north of 14 millimeters. That's the commuter. This ends up always being in my repertoire of cases. I love it. It's great. It's a good compromise case, meaning it's thin. It's also a little bit chunky, so it's going to protect your phone. It has the two rubber pieces on the back that can help it grip your pocket a little bit, but also not flip your pocket inside out when you try and take it out like some of the other completely rubber cases. Good protection around your optics. The buttons are easy to click. Your toggle is easily accessible, and it's a pretty affordable case as well. If you're looking for an all-around case or you're a one case person that doesn't swap out a lot and you want something that's not so huge but it's going to protect your investment, this is a great choice. Taking it up a notch now with the Defender Pro case. This is probably OtterBox's most iconic case. Why do I say that? It's because everybody knows someone that only uses this case. I have a bunch of friends that the first thing they do when they buy their brand new iPhone is they go out and get their Defender. They might not even leave the store without it. Putting the holster aside for a second, the case itself, like I said, is, in my personal opinion, their iconic case. I have one for every phone I ever get. I end up rocking it a lot of the time, and it offers fantastic protection for the phone itself. This takes the two-part approach from the commuter case one step further. You have the 
rubber on the outside surrounding a skeleton on the inside. The idea is you pop off the outer frame, lay your phone on the inside, and then this covers the entire outside of the case. You have a nice microfiber-ish, it's like some kind of styrofoam in there that protects the back of your phone so you don't have to worry about getting scratched up, and it comes with a cool holster. Maybe it's not cool, but it is super functional. Obviously, this is designed to go on your, your belt clip or hang off your pocket to hold onto the phone. And the clip itself operates as a kickstand. So if you want to watch some TV, consume some Netflix, you can pop out your stand, throw the case in there, and boom, you're off to the races. And you can also flip it around for a different viewing angle. The Defender Pro comes in at about 69 grams with just the case itself. With the holster, you're looking at about 136, 137 grams. The camera notch on the back is not that pronounced. It doesn't need to be because of the thickness of the phone. The whole point of the notch on the back is to get the phone optics off of the desk. So I kind of like that too. It doesn't get all caught up on your pocket when you're trying to take it out. It just kind of flows. Yeah, it's a really big case. It's very grippy but I feel like you know what you're getting into when you pick up this case. You're gonna be outside, you're working on a construction site, you're working on cars, your mechanic, whatever it might be, or you're just out for a hike. This case will protect your phone. Your dimensions at the top of the case are about 14.2 millimeters, roughly. At the camera bump, you're looking at about 15 and a half, and your width is about 88 millimeters. Now for the Mac Daddy of Defender Series cases, the Defender Pro XT. This is the only case from Autobox that I know of that has the 5X rating. If you've watched my videos on this case in the past for the 13 and the 14, I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with this thing. It's not the easiest case to install, but if you're the kind of person that wants one case and one case to rule them all, you're not gonna be swapping out all the time, and you want maximum protection, this is it. This is their greatest offering as far as protection. It has a slightly different approach. The back is hard plastic. The side is like a hardened TPU almost. And then you have an inside frame that comes out. You lay your phone in and the frame goes back in. Now my major gripe with this case is that frame is kind of difficult to install. If you're trying to install it for the first time, get a credit card and run it around the edges of the case it will help the frame lay down into the plastic outside. It's MagSafe compatible. It has a pretty pronounced lip around the optics. And this thing is designed to maximize the protection on your phone. It also has a spot for a lanyard on the bottom as well. So if you wanna have your hand go through a rope and hold the case, so if you drop it, it doesn't go anywhere, this case does that as well. One of the other concerns with this case is it's kind of hard to get to the volume rocker. There's a cutout here on this side to allow your finger to get in there, but not on the top. It's probably to allow that frame to mesh up, but it's just one of the things that come with it. Is it a deal breaker? No. This case is not for me because I swap them out all the time. But like I said, if you're a one case kind of person and you just want one case to protect your phone as best as possible, this is it. The Defender XT comes in at about 54, 55 grams. It's just shy of 12 and a half millimeters wide at the case itself. At the camera bump, you're looking at just north of 14 and a half millimeters. The width of the case is 87.8 millimeters wide. So here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the four main players from the OtterBox lineup, in my personal opinion. You have the Symmetry, the Commuter, the Defender, and the Defender Pro XT. They're all great cases. They all protect the phone. None of them are trying to be super beautiful, but if you're into sleek cases, they all sort of fit that bill. They have a relatively stealthy design aesthetic, nothing too crazy popping out of them. They're not going to be flashy. They're just here to do a job. These are strictly function over form. Now, if I had to rate these cases from best to worst for me, this is what I would do. The commuter is my go-to. I feel like it's very versatile. It gets the job done. It's also small enough and tight enough where it's not going to be super annoying to keep in your pocket and it's going to protect your phone really well. So out of all these, the commuter would be my first choice. The phone I would probably buy if I could only buy one of these. Now, if I was going to buy two, a second one, it would probably come down to either the Defender Pro or the Symmetry, but seeing that the Symmetry and the Commuter are pretty similar in size, I'd probably go with the Pro. It's a tank of a case. It's going to protect your phone. I've used them for probably close to a decade. I've had it on a ton of different phones and it's never let me down. I've dropped them, I've thrown them, I've kicked them. I've even had one fall out of a car that was moving and the phone was relatively unscathed. So my second choice in this lineup would definitely be the Defender Pro. If I was going to buy a third case, so 
I have the commuter, I have the defender, and now I want a third case, it would definitely be the symmetry. The symmetry is sleek, it's not trying to be anything fancy, it gets the job done, it's plenty of protection for the phone, all while allowing you to have a little less in the pocket. It's MagSafe compatible, it's got good bumpers on the side, the tactile feel of the buttons is great, the lip around the camera lens is perfect, and it's just a no frills, purpose driven case that gets the job done. Now I can hear some of you now being upset with me for hating on the XT. I don't hate it. It's just not for me. I swap my cases out very frequently. So I find the length of time it takes for me to install the bezel is not worth it. If I had one case only, it would definitely be the Defender Pro XT. And here's why. This thing looks great. I have a couple of issues outside of this that are not really deal breakers, like getting to the rocker. You can get a holster for it. The holster from the Defender actually does work on it. Let's see if it works both ways. So if you do have both, just know that your Defender Pro XT will fit in the holster from the Defender Pro. And inside the packaging with the Defender Pro XT, they give you like a coupon code to get the holster for a discounted price, I believe. So that's my lineup, folks. Commuter, Defender, Symmetry, Defender Pro XT. All of them are great choices. If you have one, don't be upset that I'm not liking the one you like particularly. If you have one of these cases, let me know what you think of it. Comment down below. If there's something I missed that you hate or like or love about one of these cases, let me know. This channel is growing and evolving all the time, so I really appreciate the feedback. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. If not, the thumbs down works as well. And as always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.